got the Alfa Romeo. I haven't driven the Alfa. Oh, come on. Let's go. Hey, there we are. Okay. Yeah, I haven't driven the Alfa Romeo in about two weeks. Well, well now I did, but <laughs> yeah, it had been two weeks. Basically, ever since I came back from Orange County, that's the last time I drove it. I only washed it, I think, like the following day when I came back, and then finally driving it now. Anyways, yeah, I'm waiting for my friend. She's gonna cut my hair. In the meantime, Phil's is just right around the corner. Yes, here we are. Phil's Coffee. This isn't my normal Phil's. Uh, we're in San Jose. Here we go, Phil's. Ambrosio guy. Cassie lights. Aesthetic. Oh, right. Leaving the salon now. Thank you, Kathy. There's a nice 86 over there. I think that's her client as well. So yeah, we're gonna head to the meet. All right, here we are at Resmo. Ooh, I see some nice cars. This is my first time coming here. Yeah, this works out perfect because my haircut wasn't too far from Resmo. And yeah, it only took a few minutes to get here. So yeah, first time here, we'll check this out. And so far, I like what I see. Just by coincidence, I added them on Instagram yesterday and almost immediately they messaged me to, to bring the Alpha. So yeah, here I am. I'm the first one here. All right, so you got my 4C here. I wanted the sun to hit a little bit because you get that pearl effect that some of you may have never seen in person. Hey, Resmo, I like the logo. Their logo looks pretty cool. It gives golf vibes, if you know what I'm saying, like Porsche. And yeah, here goes up front. You can see their logo from there. Very nice storefront. Again, yeah, I just added them on Instagram, so I saw a few photos. It looks like they have a shop here as well. Response Motors, Resmo. So yeah, I'm parked there. I am early. Let's see, it starts at nine, and this may or may not be their first cars and coffee. I'm about 15 minutes early. There are some meets that if you're here 15 minutes early, you're you're actually 15 minutes late. So <laughs> lucky that yeah, maybe this one is the one that a lot of people don't know about quite. Yeah, even though I'm early, maybe I could just go inside and see what they have. Looks like I have a few garages there as well. Oh, look at this. M2, Huracan, NSX. Actually, I think I saw this. Oh, if I'm not mistaken, this might be the one we saw at Portola Valley. S2000, M2 CS, 911, Boxer GTS. Wow, look at that. Yeah, feel free to, Ooh. to go around. Right on. Oh, really nice. I spoke to... The guy who runs their Instagram, very nice guy. Mercedes, a couple of Dodge Vipers, these are beautiful. And got a really nice Bentley. I've never seen one in this like tan color. And a lot of these cars I noticed good for their shop and they're sold. So, like that NSX that we saw, that was sold. And uh, I think that Huracan Performante was also sold. I'll look inside, super clean interior. Very nice Audi. Now, this is their second showroom. Check out what they have here as far as the literature. Literature. Obviously, I don't have literature in my grammar. Over here, they have their shop. He says they do, yeah, full detail and they also do, you know, some mechanic work. So, PPF, things like that. Also, get done in here. Look at that Lotus. I think I saw this on their Instagram with that very nice color on there. Looks like there's more over here. There's a pink Mercedes. Uh, I'm not sure the badges are missing, so I'm not sure what Benz that is. I'm not <laughs> good at telling just by looking at them. Uh, looks like we have a what is it, a frozen berry Porsche Taycan coming in uh, right now as well. That is very nice. Our friend Jerry will have one in his family soon. Pretty sure this is frozen berry. We'll ask the owner. This one's a Taycan Turbo S. So this thing has got to be fast. When I drove the Taycan. I ended up driving just the the normal one, not even the 4S. Very nice to see one uh, with that amount of speed here in person. Correction, it's a Ru Ruby Star is the color. Uh, the owner let me know, so nice. I wanted to go back and check out the M2 because the checkered carbon fiber on the roof is so nice to look at. Uh, BMW has like their own weaves. They're the only ones allowed to do it or the only ones that know how to make it. So I'm pretty sure if this was to be opened, you'd see like this crazy weave of carbon fiber underneath. The Performante, this thing is really nice. Forged carbon fiber on the diffuser, on the wing as well. And then look how it's got like you know, bronze covers there you know, on the intakes. And the way this kind of just opens up there like with the honeycomb black with bronze wheels orange calipers is so sick might be able to see the seats in there but yeah white piping 
on the seeds, carbon fiber, some forged carbon fiber. That's dry uh, there. Ooh, such a beauty. And then, yeah, I really love it in this color. It's like a, what I was telling them, like a normal color forged carbon fiber there. This is the NSX that we saw at Portola Valley. We'll get a better look at the Porsches that are over here. A nice Boxer GTS. I had a 987. This one's a 991 with a PDK 991, 981, 981. Looks like it has a carbon fiber package on the trim and also the dashboard is all updated as well to like a premium river 4s in a convertible so it's got the wide hips looks like we have a nice jaguar coming in very pretty love these clear tail lights like i always say back in my day you'd get a ticket for having clear tail lights this one also pdk and this is the 991 chassis of the 911 cabriolet 4s next to it is a 997 there's another 991 here and there are actually a couple 991s this one here got the tan interior pdk as well black one there we got another pdk yeah, a lot of pdks i know porsche enthusiasts big fans of pdk got the gts this thing is beautiful look at that black wheels and their center lock as well looks like oh we got a nice ferrari coming in another tycon uh, yeah pdk on the gts as well i like this one a lot like gts is the way to go if you can't do like a gt4 i'm um, sorry gt3 gt2 something like that gts very nice if you look at the front and then over here we got a cabriolet 911 turbo s from the what was it 996 chassis nice manual transmission yeah look at the wheels on the 996 911 turbo the wing this thing is very nice back of the exhaust i love how the exhaust comes out like that we're gonna look at the front of the blue cs m2 uh, again it has that uh, sort of like checkered carbon fiber if you look at the back all acropovic carbon fiber diffuser as well yeah really nice shop and yeah we'll go check out the two that came in actually three because there is this nice jaguar the tycon it looks like the lotus is coming out as well and uh, right next to my 4c we got a nice was it f 450 or something like that i can't remember but that was very very, very nice this ferrari and, uh, yeah parking right next to the 4c so it's nice to see two italians uh, next to each other there looks like we have a macan uh, s right here we also have bobby on his way so yeah bobby i don't know if he's gonna pull up in his porsche or if he's gonna pull up in his ducati either way he's pulling up in something green yeah macan s I'm, i know i've been talking about getting a porsche again what if i just got a porsche suv and, you know something nice gts or s now, this is nice so yeah so this place does it all it's a dealership they do detailing they do um some mechanic work as well there's also a stelvio across the street uh nothing to do with the car meet but it's still a stelvio and we'll walk back to check out the two cars uh three cars if you count the other tycon and also shout out to the volvo things nice very nice color on the volvo it says i'm stock oh here he is yeah i knew he was pulling up in some green <laughs> very nice we got bobby in the ducati beautiful beautiful ducati hello <laughs> the mirrors oh are gone. yeah i forgot oh yeah yeah the little mirrors where were the the stock mirrors would come up like this or yeah, they were from here okay we just got those, ears. the bar ends. I just got one. The other one doesn't fit. Oh, okay. And then the, uh, what's it called? Tail tidy. The tail tidy as well. Yes. Thank you all. Oh, I already have coffee, but I will definitely take the croissant. Oh, you have this one too? I have like a, I have that one. Yeah, I have that one. <laughs> that one took like, like 10 minutes. <laughs> was that, Koenigsegg? F40. This is cool. The details on this. Ooh. This is so clean. Let's see. Wow, yeah. I like the wheels on there. 
Super nice. You look at the back of the Lotus. They just detailed this. I saw it actually on their Instagram stories. It's beautiful work getting this cleaned up. Absolutely love the wheels. The way you look on that. V turn. Oh, sorry. Still waiting for shot. Electric Porsches. Yes. Datsun. The Z. Very nice. We got a 911 coming in. GT4. Damn, was it? That's nice. Really? He's got the factory roll cage. Oh, that's He's nice. Got the carbon bucket seats. Wow. Let's see. Oh, okay. So, that's cool. I like the way they sound. But yeah, there's a few more vehicles out here. Oh, there's, I saw a doggo too. There is a forklift. Yeah, running off of propane, so it's probably a manual transmission. Yeah, it looks like we have something with a whale tail over there that just got washed. This nice pickup truck. I wonder if this is a rotary engine. Yeah, SL Mercedes. See another whale tail. Oh, and that Boxster has the same lip I had on my Boxster. Nice ones out here. It looks like this one might be coming out. There's a doggo looking at us through the window. Hello, doggo. <laughs> this is really cool. Oh, that's nice. Nice and clean. Oh, thank you. Nice. 997 GT3. Ooh. Sounds so good. Probably one of my favorite wings on a 911 is on these. I'll show you that in a bit for now. We'll show you the interior. We got, ooh, very nice shifter on there. Alcantara, but it has like carbon fiber up top. Alcantara throughout. No coloring on 12 o'clock though. And we do have the yellow seat belts and then yeah definitely one of my favorite this is like one of my favorite wings on a on a 911 uh huh my favorite okay i think yeah this is a nice one. <laughs> oh shit oh yeah we we're looking at the jag and then we noticed that there is an a track player and then bobby saw that it was donna summers then we started talking about like why is it called an a track does it only hold eight tracks and we we're saying okay what if it was nine tracks what do you do okay we obviously we're not that's not our era we get to see the collection oh, oh wow you do have them oh <laughs> that's so cool yeah i'll just hold this up for you Look wow. at that. The Beach car. Boys. Yeah. Did it really? It did. Oh, that's so, so awesome. We're the third owners. Uh, okay. First guy bought it new in San Diego, barely drove it. Uh, oh, Barry Manilow. Passing and willing it to somebody else who fixed it up. I uh, take took very good care of it, uh, drove it a little more, and my mother fell in love with it, and we just. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this, no, this is beautiful. This, And that's yeah, awesome that it came with these, yeah, too. Right. Yeah. yeah. Cause I think that cougar that I was telling you about, they only had we only had one, so <laughs> we had to listen to Pink Floyd over and over again, which I'm not complaining about, right? Because it's Pink Floyd, exactly. but still, yeah, it's still it cool, right? exactly. Of course, it opens that way. Oh my god, <laughs> this is nice. What condition? It's just kind of weekend car kind of uh, thing? Yeah, I honestly, I'm sort of the caretaker for it. Okay, uh, gotcha. I just sort of drive it every weekend to keep it going because it doesn't nice. like sitting. Right. But yeah, everything works on it. It has 58,000 miles, original. Okay. Yeah. That's amazing, 58,000 miles. All right. There we go. Sounds like it's already warmed up anyways. It's going to take off. There you go. All right. Ooh, all right. Damn, that sounds good. Ooh, we transitioned from one bike to another bike. Hello. There's a Google bike here. Any of my Google friends are watching. Uh, come pick your thing up, man. All right. Yep, parked right next to me. The 991 chassis, 911 Cabriolet, Cabriolet. Convertible with, you guessed it, a PDK and transmission. Oh, wait, no, no, I'm tripping. No, we got our first manual transmission. Uh, well, besides the GT3 that's over there. Yeah, very nice. Looks like we got an E30 that showed up. Oh, I should show that to my friend, uh, Leanna. She was supposed to join us today too, but she may join us at the next one. Yeah, a couple more rolling in. Looks like we have an MG. Very nice MG. 
Right behind that we have a 911 Turbo. It is beautiful RS wagon and Audi. Ooh, look at those wheels. Boxer, this is what I used to have. Yeah, mine was much different as far as interior, but pretty much same thing. Well, you forgot the Golf that was out here, or GTI, I should say, the R. Very nice. And yeah, our friend Jennifer, she has one. And the MG, you wanted to check out the MG a little bit more. MG, what do you know? Key inside, go for a drive. Got a beautiful Lotus uh, coming in. Yeah, this is nice. You get the Avora next to my 4C and you can see how similar they are or why people mistake them for each other. Also, we got to check out the shop uh, here. Ooh, very nice color. Wow. Look at that up there. If you guys are familiar with the channel, you know that the Ferrari California is my first supercar. And that was a April Fool's joke video. Got another 911 coming in there. Yeah, very nice shop. Sorry, no, no, no American, no American cars here. Sorry, just kidding. Hello. <laughs> and that is a slow C7. <laughs> well, that, that's cool the way his uh, brake light goes off. Matt's brake light, the Stingray. Oh, nice. Trying to steal your house. Yeah, but you don't have a Mustang, so. <laughs> Pretty close. <laughs> Pretty close. Hi, how's it going? Hey. Good. Hey, well, one more Porsche, and it's a Cayenne. We got one more doggo coming in as well and yeah i didn't get a chance to look at this lamborghini next to my 4c yeah, if you guys follow the channel you know this is morino morino that's how you say his name but morino mo boost on instagram the beautiful gallardo one of the first car folks that found me on youtube and one of the first uh, kind of like interview uh, videos i've done uh, with a friend or a car enthusiast so yeah the Gallardo always looking beautiful and yeah nice to have our two Italians next to each other once again because it has been a while this is definitely a photo op right here cool the guys here decided to put uh, the Lotus right next to the Gallardo, Marino's Gallardo, you see the similar color and I'm not sure if they did it on purpose but we got a Panda color Porsche with my Panda color 4C. So yeah, very nice y'all. Oh, oh wow. Oh, photo shoot time. Hey. Okay, so the vlog shall continue. We got Matt down there with the C7. We got Marino with this Gallardo. And we're gonna meet up Aaron too, I believe. Right. Okay, gonna park. I set off a few alarms. A few, uh, only two, not a few. Just two kinds of few? A couple, a couple. Hey, because we're hungry and we have a dog, we're gonna go to Lazy Dog. We got another C7, Aaron's C7. The patty is smashed. The bun they smash on the grill and then they splash blend it out. Well, the meat itself they smash on the grill. Yeah, on the grill, yeah. I Who's meat? That, like, My meat. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Enjoy I thought that like dries it out too much though. All right. Oh, turn around. Beautiful. Is that a double? Yum, 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 yum. There you go.